We believe that all men are created equal. Yet many are denied equal treatment. Every nation must now develop an overriding loyalty. Welcome to Diversity TV News and Commentary. I'm Jerice Laspisa, sitting in for Troy Shaw, World Headline News, out of Little Rock, Arkansas. An error in the new law that allows Arkansans of any age, even toddlers, to marry with parental consent must be fixed by lawmakers, not an independent commission authorized to correct typos, a judge ruled Wednesday. The law, which took effect July 31st, was intended to establish 18 as the minimum age to marry, while also allowing pregnant minors to marry with parental consent. An extraneous not in the bill, however, allows anyone who is not pregnant to marry at any age if parents allow it. Governor Mike Beebe declined to call lawmakers into special session to clear up the error, saying there was no imminent crisis. Instead, he said the Arkansas Code Revision Commission, which is authorized to correct typos and technical errors, could make the change, which it did. And now business news, story out of California. Angelo Mozillo, chairman and chief executive of mortgage lender Countrywide Financial, is under new scrutiny over the timing of stock sales and massive shareholder losses. State Treasurer Richard Moore has asked the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to investigate Mozilla's sales in which the chief executive exercised options for 139,918 shares of common stock on Wednesday for $9.94 apiece, and then sold all of those shares on the same day for $18.74 apiece. The stock sale, reported in Securities and Exchange Commission filing, was conducted under a prearranged 10b-5-1 trading plan, which allows a company, Insider, to set up a program in advance for such transactions and proceed with them, even if he or she comes into possession of material, non-public information. Continuing with our business news, story out of New York. Whether it's for national security reasons or to protect the environment, nearly everyone agrees that the nation should use energy more efficiently. Yet, despite our soaring energy prices and calls from the political left and right, energy use is going nowhere but up. By 2030, it's expected to jump 35 to 40 percent in the U.S. alone. Enter Al Gore. Since making his 2006 global warming documentary, An Inconvenient Truth, the man has been front and center raising awareness around climate change. Now he's embarking on a public advertising campaign estimated to cost between 100 and 200 million a year, one of the largest public service campaigns in history. Expect to see television commercials, newspaper spreads, and internet ads popping up in a few months' time. Now turning to national news, a story out of Louisiana. A judge ordered a black teenager back to jail, deciding that the fight that put him in the national spotlight violated terms of his probation for a previous conviction, his attorney said. Michael Bell, along with five other black teenagers, is accused of beating a white classmate in the Jenna 6 case. Michael Bell went to juvenile court in Jenna on Thursday, expecting another routine hearing, said Carol Paul Lexing, one of his attorneys. Instead, State District Judge J.P. Moffrey Jr. sentenced Bell to 18 months in jail on two counts of simple battery and two counts of criminal destruction of property, Lexing said. We are definitely going to appeal this, she said. We'll continue to fight. And that's Diversity TV News and Commentary. I'm Jerice Lespisa, sitting in for Troy Shaw, and I'll see you real soon. We believe that all men are created equal, yet many are denied equal treatment. Every nation must now develop an overriding loyalty.